Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Me First Game Most Wanted. Let's try and get rid of the shitty rap music as soon as possible because I've had to listen to like 5 million songs in a row. And I've already done this song. And I'm. Ugh, it's driving me crazy. Okay. So. All I need. Oh, I already did all three. I didn't see the little jug mark. Okay. <sighs> Lap knockout. And now I'm at peace from that horrible rap music. Thank the Lord. Uh, this controller is so squeaky, I don't know why. Oh well. Anyway, um, so yeah. I will be doing something special for Sunny. Uh, you will only find that out when it's time. Which will be time soon, so, yeah, there's that. Anyway, uh, if you're wondering how the lap knockout works, it's fairly simple. It's basically a circuit in which the amount of laps is determined by how many people there are. It's the amount of people there are minus one. Basically, everybody has to um, go around a circular whatever just like a circuit, except every time a lap is done, the person in last place is eliminated. Generally this is known as an elimination circuit, but it's called a lap knockout here, I guess, to make it um, sound cooler. But, but yeah, like right there. Um, the last person, place person hasn't been knocked out yet because not everybody's finished, crossed the finish line yet, so it wouldn't be fair. But once everybody crosses the finish line, the last place part, there we go, Adam was knocked out. He is no longer able to play in the race, and now there are only three people left. Me, and two other opponents. Once I cross the finish line again, wow, I'm like miles ahead of everybody right now, almost literally. But yeah, once, I, once we've done it again, um, there will only be one person. And then, um, after that, there will only be, uh, the person in first left, which means he'll have no one else to race, which will mean that he will win. Technically by default, but really that was sort of what was intended. You're intended to win by default. You're, it's, it's the last person standing, kind of winning by default. Not the, oh shit, everybody's dead, um, okay, you have to win sort of winning by default, like what happened with frickin' Razor. I would've beat his ass if he hadn't have jacked my car. I don't know why, but something about that just doesn't sound quite right. Anyway, never mind. I'm still in the lead, even after numerous crashes. So let's see if I can win this thing overall. After that, I'll just have to get some more bounty. I could probably do that by winning pursuits, or... Hopefully I'll be able to get the rest of the bounty by um, doing that uh, speed trap. I don't remember what it is actually called, but that's basically what it is. They're high speed cameras and they're called speed traps. And they apparently actually do use them in races. Um, the person with the highest top speed wins. But, eh, you know. This game, you just use for, um, like... The high speed cameras were just used for getting, uh, like bounty and milestones and stuff. Yeah, I don't care. So that gives me 4,000 bounty. Don't care. Okay, so I'm already lined up to go to the right. So, stay to the right. Always stay to the right. Oh, I'm about to get chased by the cops. God damn it. Oh well. I know what I'm gonna do. Um, especially when you get to the higher levels of, of cops, um, usually your best 
thing to do um, is go find one of the um, instant evade sections. They're a little hard to find, but once you know about them, all you need to do is try and stay alive long enough. Okay, let's try and not get the cops' attention this time. That'd be perfect. Okay, so they've cleared the call, so they're... It says you can go back to patrol, but technically they're not really on patrol. Okay. Ooh, he's ready. Got it. And I will see you guys then. Alright, time to turn off the A tracks.
And win number one. Number two. Oh yeah. So normally you get um, an achievement for doing this, but um, I already have all the achievements for this sort of thing. So yeah. Anyway, here's the marker thing I was talking about. Uh, you have visual. Um, aftermarket and performance and then you have three bonus markers now I forgot to save before I challenge Sunny so I'm gonna hope to God that I get his car because I need it for this challenge booyah okay and an extra cash reward ten thousand dollars thank you very much Sunny Whew, we did it and here's our next blacklist member 
that we're going to have to face next time. This crazy pool is a major heat score. Okay, I'm not going to read this. <laughs> Never mind. This is supposedly a song in the game, but I have no idea what song it is. And I don't want to. <laughs> Sounds like really shitty death metal. So. Wait. Was that Avenged Sevenfold? Maybe it was. It didn't really sound like Finding Chains, though. Oh well. No, it's, it's not a cover. They use... Yeah. Although people seem to think that there's a different version of, um... Hand of Blood in Need for Speed Most Wanted. As far as I've been able to hear, it's exactly the same version. Yeah, okay, I got some text. Blah, blah, blah. So, we've done that. Now what we need to do is go back in our safe house. So that, first things first, we can sell this little hunk of junk because we don't need it and we can make this our active car except we're not going to make this our active car we're going to go to the shop and get rid of all that aftermarket crap it's not that you're not allowed to go to the shop it's that you're not allowed to buy anything sell things there yeah this is a lot better so let's have a look and get rid of this body kit. Ugly. Alright, no spoiler. Get rid of the rims. Ugly. Get rid of the hood. Ugly. Root scoop is ugly. Get rid of that too. Go away. Shit. Finals. Go away. Minute 10. Go away. Okay, that's it. We're done here. And now we get to drive back over to our safe house. Where I'll see you where I will see you guys next time. For Let's Play, Need for Speed Most Wanted. Have a good day, everybody.